about a perfect timetable, but... Oh, I love it. Wouldn't change a thing. But how was I to know that she'd change her mind every so, time she turned around? I thought I could pull this wall out to about here and maybe put a door there. Just because oh. you've blown the timetable, you don't have to blame me. OK, can we move on to another issue? Perhaps money. Sure. Well, money means something to me. When I'm told something will cost X, I expect it to cost X. Satisfied. And not a cent over budget. But with him, the price just kept going up and up and up. Adam, I'm really concerned about this. I've checked the prime cost estimates in the contract. You've only allowed $135 for the toilet. How am I going to pay for this? The PC price is an estimate. That's not a final cost. You overspent in all these fancy fittings. I overspent. You underestimated. Look, you can't have champagne taste on a beer budget. Well, you've got beer taste. Of course the price went up. There was that many variations. What's that? So I think I want the frosted glass panels in these doors. I've just finished hanging them. Yeah, but they look different now they're up. A door's a door. Oh, maybe to you, but I'm the one who has to live with them. It's my house! I await the precise moment to choose the exact colour. <gasps> He's just the builder! When's the latest I can decide on the paint and carpet? Just finish it there and then we'll do it right through. Um, well, that depends. Well, what century did you want to move in? If just once she could have been clear about what she wanted... You think you're clear? Or what about the cornices? Well, what about them? He gives me a choice. Tells me one is only six dollars more a metre. That's exactly right. He didn't tell me I needed a hundred and sixty metres. That's a thousand dollars I don't have. Here, you work it out. Your expectations are unreal. Oh, false work. Oh. Yes, my lady. Build me another staircase, Boswick. This one wearies me in the vertical dimension. Well, what about yours? I thought you were building me a house. Oh, near enough's good enough. <laughs> I can see that you're both pretty upset. Do you think there's any area that you can yet agree on that we can put under that common ground? Any ideas that you might have to resolve this? Well, look, I think this might be a good time for a break, and when we come back, I'd like to move into private sessions. Is that all right? I'd like to move the discussion into another level, Adam. What happens if mediation doesn't work out? What do you mean? Well, if you and Evangelina don't reach agreement, what happens then? Eddie don't like no pay, guys, does he, Slug? No, he don't. He wants his money now! I don't want to think about that. What's the next step? Oh, well, tribunal. A court. Have you thought about the legal fees and what happens to your reputation? That's why we're here. Could drag on for months. Look, I just want to get on with my life. If it hadn't been for Tony. So, can you... Hey, I know that, Blake. That's Tony Benetti. He was an apprentice the same year I was. He was top of the class, the bastard. <laughs> Smart cookie. Yeah. Now, if I'm quoting against him, I'll have to cut it fine. What do you reckon, 15 weeks? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, I figured that if I was quoting against Tony, then I'd have to build it fast and make it quit somewhere. So I decided I'd use these new subbies. They were cheaper, but they were unreliable. I found that out the hard way. You see, I could never get hold of them when I needed them. There was delay after delay, plus the hassle with defects, which I didn't need. And the prime cost allowances. Yeah, well, I probably quoted a bit low, but I thought she understood they were just preliminary estimates and that she'd, she'd cop the extra for, for better stuff. 
I had no idea she'd be so damn fussy. She's been a bloody footpath foreman for day one. That, that's what really gets up my nose. Look, I've been in this game ten years. I know what I'm doing, so why doesn't she trust me? She likes my work. That's why she hired me. But for months, all she's done is, is stick a beak into everything on sight. How in the hell am I supposed to do my bloody job? What can you tell her that? No way. It might help her to understand your point of view. And it'd be useful if you could hear her side of things. It could open up some opportunities for agreement. Yeah, if I was her, I would have blown a gasket. Well, to her, it's a castle. See, to me, it's just a house. But if I don't get it built soon, I'm history. My cash flow is shot to ribbons. Well, look, why don't you give that some thought while I have a word with Evangelina? Eh, uh, righto. You've stopped the final payment, Evangelina. Stopped progress on your house. What happens if it doesn't get finished? Why not stay at home with family? I've got to finish it. How's that going to happen? Adam can't continue without more money. If you don't reach an agreement, will you go to court? Can you afford a solicitor? Well, I don't know. I'd seen one of his previous houses and liked his work. But when I saw how disorganised he was, I got worried. But without my supervision, the house would be even further behind. All right, maybe I changed my mind a bit. I mean, there's no doubt I slowed things down, but isn't that my right to change things? Your contract states your rights and responsibilities. Of course you can change things, but you have to accept delays and extra costs. Any variation you ask for, or the weather, or uh, unavailability of materials, entitles Adam to an extension of time. It took me a while to get used to all the jargon. Do you understand it? Mostly. Some of it's a bit technical. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to worry about. It's a standard contract. I know what you want. I trusted him. Okay. Trust's important. But with something as complicated and as expensive as a house, you also need a clear contract, like the plain English contract, and someone independent to explain it to you. Maybe next time. How important is the deadline to you? How negotiable? I've got to get it finished for my wedding. Does Adam know this? Of course he knows. Is that what bothers you the most? If he'd only been honest with me about the deadline, I would have stayed away. But he betrayed me, so I kept on his back. You feel hurt. Deep down, how do you think Adam feels about this? Probably just wants to get it over and done with. Like me. I really can't do anything more, even though I want to. Because until I get my progress payment, I can't buy any materials or pay the subbies. And I can't keep to the schedule if you're going to keep coming up with variations. If you'd been totally honest with me about the deadline and talked to me about the delays, then I wouldn't have lost confidence in you and spent so much time on site. You're a good craftsman, but I don't think you know how to run a business. 
I think the private sessions in this one have been useful and constructive. How do you feel? Well, I had my doubts up until now. And I think we're getting somewhere. We just didn't get off to a good start. And this mediation's shown me that we didn't really respect each other. I know it's taken longer than it should have. I admit I've slowed things down a little. I should have allowed more for the PC items. And I realise I'd pushed the price up by changing things. Well, if my paperwork was up to scratch, you wouldn't have been caught by surprise. I could have responded more quickly to the variation letters you wrote. And I should have taken responsibility for the subbies when they stuffed up. Well, that would have made a big difference. This job is really important to me. Me too. You see, it's dog eat dog out there. And uh, when I saw Tony, I, I, I cut my quote right to the bone. Tony? Yeah, I saw him around at your place. Smooth operator. That's when I really got under the hammer because I, I hired these new subbies and they were cheaper, but they were impossible to get a hold of on the phone. And so that's what keep, kept stuffing up the schedule. So, are you saying, Adam, that even though the subbies, um, you know, took more time, they actually saved money? Yeah. Well, some. N n not a lot, but... Can that help us out? Yeah, maybe. I'll put it down for now. Nothing's binding at the moment. Uh, there might be something else to add. When you told me that quality was more important than anything else, I knew I'd found the right builder, but just in case, I gave you an early date for the wedding. An early date? What wedding? My wedding. You never told me about any wedding. <laughs> I'm sure I did. On my mother's grave, I know nothing about a wedding. Now, when is it? In three weeks' time. The 28th. Write that down, Verity. Three weeks. Okay. Mm. I'm not in this for my health. Okay, three weeks. Yeah. It's going to be tight. Here, I'll come to the party. It'll hurt, but I'll do it. I'll put on an extra gang and I'll get the place done in time. Is that a conditional offer? Yeah, it is. Evangelina? I'm really sorry. I really thought you knew. And I've told just about everybody. I've just had so much to think about. At least now you've got more time to build the house. Look, I'll make the progress payment right away. And? And there won't be any more changes. Okay. Well... Now we're cooking with gas. <sighs> Done? Great. Draw it up. <laughs> what? Hey, Tony? Wow. If you didn't know about the wedding, you wouldn't know about the groom. So she's marrying Tony. And, and what's he doing in that get-up? That day you saw him, he was visiting his fiancée. Not quoting to build this house. You just assumed that he isn't a builder. He's been in the Navy for eight years. Oh. 